We all need healing in our lives, especially in our emotions. A person with healthy emotion is likely to enjoy the best out of life. If you want to live your best life, here are five good attitudes you want to cultivate for yourself. 1. Believing the best about others. It is easy to focus on the negatives about people than it is to focus on the positives. It is a discipline you must learn. Long ago, I learned something about resistance. Resistance is the negative force that stops you from doing what's best for you and hinders you usually through your thinking process. Resistance will make you think negative thoughts about others and also make you doubt yourself. Too many times, what you believe about others isn't true. It has been observed that it is easy for humans to focus on the bad than it is for us to focus on the good. If someone has done you a lot of good and did you only one evil, it is very easy to focus on and keep raging about that evil than it is to be grateful for the one good. This is one of the things that ruin relationships. The discipline of growing fruitful relationships with people is that you learn to believe the best about them. If you feel that they have wronged you, it is often best to walk up to them to confront them politely about it. Too often, you find that you were wrong about the perspective you held about the issue and your relationship with the person is healed. When you believe the best about others, you discipline yourself to focus on the good about them rather than the evil. While it helps you see what's good in the person, it heals you as a person. 2. Believing the best about yourself Successful people have a reputation for first believing in themselves before pursuing their dreams. If there was ever any man who achieved a great feat, it never came out by disbelieving himself. No man stumbles into achieving a great feat. Like John C. Maxwell pointed out in his book, talent is not enough. Talent may take you to the top, but character will keep you there. You may get lucky to get to the top, but what keeps you there is believing in yourself. This is why we observe that when most successful people fail financially, they bounce back. Research has proven that when people with poor money mindset win the lottery, it only takes a year or two before they return to being poor. The reason is simple. Successful people believe in themselves. They believe the best about themselves. They know that they may not have all they need to achieve the goals they want to, but they can take advantage of what they have and who they are now to become who they want to be. This is the first step to ever achieving your life's dream. Because one thing is sure, if you don't believe in yourself, it is not certain that anyone would believe in you. 3. Believing the best about your future. Will your future be great? Will your future be splendid? Will you ever become all you desire to be? Even though he was born to a poor family and he lived in a poor neighborhood, Steve Harvey believed he was going to be on TV and would become famous and he achieved that dream. Even though her grandmother, great-grandmother and lineage were noted to be housemates, Oprah Winfrey determined she would never become a housemaid but a TV star and she actualized that dream. Even though he was raised by a single mother who had to work odd jobs just to take care of him and his older brother, Ben Carson believed he could become a neurosurgeon amid so much racial segregation and he did become a successful neurosurgeon. Most people who fail are those who never knew how close they were to achieving their dreams. If you're not where you want to be yet, it doesn't mean you'll never get to where you're supposed to be. This season of your life is just a test of your fate to see if you would believe the best about your future regardless of the present hardship or will you still in doubt. Eight years after struggling and enduring hardship and poverty, Anthony Robbins was in his private helicopter flying towards the venue of his seminar. He shed tears of joy as his chopper flew over the place where eight years ago he had worked an odd job. You never know what your future holds, but what it becomes is based on what you believe about it now and what you believe about your future will determine how you will act. Your action now, therefore, is what produces that kind of result you imagined. Think about this. 4. Taking no account of wrongs done to you. It is easy to soil up and nearly want to burst because you are angry at what someone did to you. Most of the movies we watch often premise on the protagonist being hurt and seeking for revenge. This revenge process could take years of preparation, but eventually, the protagonist has his revenge. Then the film ends. 
The part we miss is what happens after the revenge is obtained. Years of steaming and brewing in anger, preparing for revenge, would mean years spent panting up. Scientists confirm that when you are angry or abhor some negative emotional feeling, your brain produces an enzyme. This enzyme causes your brain to shrink. The more angry and frustrated you get, the more your brain shrinks. What then is the advantage of taking account of the wrongs done to you? As someone hurts you, you further hurt yourself by brooding on the hurt until it turns to resentment and anger. This way, you hurt yourself and health even further. I know it's often difficult to do, but for your own sanity, it is best to let go of wrongs, especially the ones that cannot be reversed or require you to take legal action. If someone stole from you and ran away, it doesn't return your money. If you keep getting angry, it only hurts you further. Forget about it and move on. Part of emotional intelligence is never allowing anything external to determine your emotional state, but rather staying in control of your emotions no matter what. 5. Thinking positive thoughts It may have been overrated that we should think positive thoughts. Norman Vincent Pearl wrote one of the most powerful books on the idea, The Power of Positive Thinking. Yet. It has been observed that those who think positive thoughts experience positive lives. A research was conducted on a number of older men, men who were happy with their lives and men who were not. Years later, the researcher turned to these two groups of men. The ones who were always happy lived longer. The ones who were never happy died early. When your life isn't where you want it to be yet, you hurt it further with negative thoughts. Thinking positive thoughts may simply mean having a positive outlook about everything. You lost your job. Instead of worrying about how you lost your job, you may choose to see it as an opportunity for expansion and growth. What you see about your life is often what you become. It has been observed that optimistic people often enjoy a better, longer life. Unhappy people will never enjoy the life they have, even if they have everything they need. And as happiness is a choice, thinking positive thoughts about yourself is also a choice. If this video inspired you, like the video. We love you.